Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, back with another episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Recreated Series in Men of War Assault Squad 2, and we are finally doing the Separatist Invasion of Kamino today. So, we have uh, General Grievous up here with his droid army comprised of commando droids and B1 battle droids who have landed on the planet with these little pods. Um, sadly, we don't have a Saj Ventress because she is not in the mod, um, so Big Daddy Grievous will have to do. He is going to be attacking the clone defenses uh, from two platforms. So there's this first platform over here where Grievous is, and then there's a second little side flanking platform over here as well. The clones themselves control five platforms. So they have this little military base one over here where um, Arc Trooper, well, they're not Arc Troopers yet, but Fives and Echo are right here. So here's Echo and here is Fives. And then uh, in this middle platform, we have the boys from Rancor Battalion. So I believe this guy right here is Colt. Um, this dude over here is Hammer. And then I think Havoc is, yep, here's Havoc over here. And then Blitz is over this way. Uh, then these are just sort of two random platforms over here. No special characters on those. But then finally, in the way, way back over here, we have uh, Cody and Rex, the two legends. And I think uh, before this episode starts, we have to give an F in chat for our boy 99, who could not make it to this battle because he also does not have an in-game model in Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy A War mod, but... 99 was truly a soldier amongst us, so uh, I salute you, 99. Alright guys, so without further ado, we'll get this thing going. Be sure to like the video if you do end up enjoying it. Let's try and get maybe 500 likes in the first 24 hours. That seems like a good goal. Uh, so yeah, either way, let's get it going. Giveaway time! Instant Gaming, thank you for bringing a giveaway to my channel for another month guys if you would like to be a part of this giveaway you can win any game of your dreams all you got to do is follow the link in the description below to this website instant gaming slash en slash giveaway slash daily um and then all you got to do is choose your game so in this little choose your game thing you can type any game you would like you could even do men of war assault squad 2 which is what this video is about so uh let's say i want men of war assault squad 2 deluxe edition i click that and then i click let's go and you get a little thank you for participating and you are entered in to win 15 days left um, if you would like to increase your chances to win, you get an extra entry for following each of these things. If you follow Instant Gaming on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on YouTube, and vice versa for all of them as well. So you can get a lot of entries stacked up in there very fast for you to win the game of your dreams or just whatever game you want at this time. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool deal. Thank you so much for Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys for listening to this ad read. I really appreciate it. All right, on with the video. Alrighty then, boys. Let's get this shindig going. Pressing start right now, and General Grievous and the boys are marching forward right now, ready to attack the clones who are below them, ready to open fire at the attackers. It should be pretty epic. And there we go, the initial barrage coming at these droids, nice and hot. The droids wasting no time in getting to cover, already responding with fire of their own. But they're already taking some substantial losses as well. We already have seen like 10 or so droids going down and more going down by the minute. Though they are getting a nice amount of fire off at the clones too. One of the clone turrets down here is down, but the other is still firing away. But he goes down as well. Only a few clones remaining on this platform already. But then again, this was a rather weak platform. Probably the weakest of the five. So this one was bound to fall very, very fast. They've still got seven clones there anyway so they could still do something the middle platform over here is engaging with the uh, flanking droids right now who are looking awfully worse for wear the flanking droids have taken some serious losses and they're trying to respond with a bunch of fire down at the clones below but their numbers have already dwindled so so much so it's looking like the flanking movement is not going to be doing all that much during the uh 
totality of the battle here, and it's going to be mainly up to General Grievous and his boys over here to sort of carry the Separatist team. Um, and at the moment, they're not doing that much. They're not even trying to help their uh, flanking boys. They're just kind of chilling up here. Maybe a shot or two going off every once in a while, but not too much. A couple of the guys way down here are interacting with the clone army, but the majority of the army up here is barely doing anything. So they need to be getting down onto that first platform soon if they want to help out the flankers at all. But you know what? It might even be too late. The flankers have taken so much damage right now that it's uh, absolutely brutal. Though the flankers did manage to get some kills. You got to give them that. Hammer is still alive right now, which... Uh, the same can't be said for our XCOM 2 series, big sad. Lord Gonk is still doing okay, doing his little jig with his clone pal right there. Oh, someone just died right there. Blitz is down, though, from Rancor Battalion. So is Colt. You hate to see it. Um, but Havoc is still alive, and of course, so is Hammer. It's good to see Hammer again, man. It was so sad. Oh, God, he just died. No! Oh, tragedy strikes again. <laughs> Bro, come on. I love Hammer, and he's got to die every single time. Now it's just Havoc of Rancor Battalion. Let's see, how's the military base doing? Oh, they're doing fine. Couple losses, because the droids can shoot in through the top. Um, but uh, we're looking okay. Fives and Echo's still alive over there, too. That's the most important part of that. Droids have made it down to this first platform over here. Um, and that is mainly why Rancor Battalion has completely fallen, because Rancor Battalion was essentially flanked from the side, um, which is a no bueno thing, of course. Um, and now the droids are just able to pour fire down onto them. The few that are facing that way are having trouble, you know, getting too many kills against the might of the droid army up there. Um, so it's looking like the middle platform may fall relatively soon. But this secondary platform over here is still doing quite well. Um, about half of their forces are still alive, and the half that are alive are probably in the most entrenched and hardiest position. So these guys are looking okay. Uh, military base is still doing fine, and they'll have a nice choke point going on. Not to mention the back lines is almost untouched. There's like one or two dead clones over here, so... They're going to be very, very helpful in the long run here as well. Um, I noticed some fire coming from over here. It looks like there are, there are a couple flankers left alive. A commando droid with a rifle. He could be relatively effective, honestly. Um, this guy also has a rifle. <laughs> rifle. rifle. Um, these guys both just have standard E5. So a four-man squad up here flanking the entirety of the clones over this way. We'll see if they manage to do anything. There we go. They're firing out a little bit. Man, the... Um, the camera movement for this sucks because you keep dipping beyond the platforms by accident like like that and then you have to recover and then you miss the action it's it's a real pain in the butt um okay it looks like well all of them just died no no no. there's still one left alive right there he's crouching down it's our commando friend let's see if he can uh pull this together he's still got that raffle i'm gonna start calling it raffles now rifles are no longer rifles they are rifles <laughs> Uh, clones on the second platform down from the first, uh, or that made no sense, on the second platform, the one after the first. I don't even know why I specified that. I have, uh, stupid brain today. Uh, but they are getting into the, uh, the nitty gritty of it with these droids over here. Looks like they've gotten a number of kills on them, but, uh, there's a pretty powerful force here and, um, they're gonna start you know, putting their attention this way after they're done with that middle platform over there, and then the rest of these clones over here just have to hope that they can, you know, withstand this army coming at them hot. Uh, so we'll see if they manage to do that. Another one falls real quick there. That's no bueno. There's still three guys here, three here, and these guys are in pretty good, good spots to sort of like clap at droids as they run past, so that won't be bad. There was two guys there, but they have since been domed. Yeah, absolutely hate to see it. I, I would say things are looking relatively dire for the clones at the moment, as we're seeing these droids sort of come forward virtually uncontested. But you got to remember, we still got that military base down there, which is going to be a serious problem. And the final platform with Captain Rex and Commander Cody, which will also be a serious problem. So um, General Grievous, this is where he got... He's got to play conservatively. He needs to play the game uh, for the long run. He can't just be yeeting units forward and things like that. He needs to um, you know, make sure he makes the most of every single soldier that he loses at this point. Yeah. 
Big time, big time, big time. Um, also, I wanted to thank you guys for the huge response we got on Rico's Brigade cinematics. Whenever I release a cinematic, I always get a little bit nervous because I'm not sure how people are going to receive them. Um, but you guys were very responsive to it. You guys seemed to love it, which was awesome. I am so happy about that. Um, because I remember, like, a couple of them I did, people were like, ah, I'd prefer to watch the battles. Um, but it seemed like there was so much story in this one and plot points that people really, really enjoyed it. So I'm so happy to see that. And it, it rejuvenated my love for the series and, you know, my excitement at recording more for the future and that kind of a thing. So thank you guys so much for that. That's was, was pretty epic. It, it really made my morning, uh, especially since it came out, like, three hours late. That's my B. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was pretty epic. And then also, I, I released three XCOM videos in a week. Uh, literally, it was like, I think Tuesday was XCOM, Wednesday was Men of War, which was like the only Men of War video I did that week. And then Thursday, Friday was XCOM again, and all of them did phenomenally. And like, you guys were even hyped to be having so much XCOM in a week. So I am so happy that series has taken off. That's awesome. Um, but don't worry, you know, I, I'm going to start limiting it maybe to two XCOM videos a week. Um, and if I'm really, like, churning out some awesome Men of War videos, maybe only one. Um, because after all, uh, most people subscribed for the Men of War content, you know? Um, but those of you who did subscribe for the XCOM, and for my own sake, because I love the series, um, I want to keep on delivering that as well. So I'm trying to find balance. I don't want to, like, overpopulate the entire channel with just one thing. Um, so, you know, we'll find some balance in there to make everyone happy, which I think will be awesome. And don't worry, we'll always have Rico's Brigade, we'll always have Clone Wars recreated for the Men of War series. Um, and then we'll always have this XCOM series, too. So, like, that's three series that we're going to be able to do every week um, that are fan favorites. So I'm so hyped about that because every YouTuber's nightmare is, like, running out of content or, like, not figuring out what to do next. Like, what's the next thing you do? Um, so, like, for me to find these three things that you guys all like, um, well, not all of you, but, like, the majority, I feel like, do, um and I enjoy making, that's like, that's, that's prime YouTube. That's like godsend kind of stuff. So very epic, very nice. Thank you, Kanye, very cool. Um, <laughs> all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just feeling excited. And this is me rebounding after like, having that one video where I was basically like, I don't know what to do, you know. I was kind of complaining, like, I, I can't figure out what the next step is and all that. And, like, I feel like I, I rebounded pretty good. I'm not saying this will last forever and I'll never, like, get into a rut again. But I'm saying for the next at least week or two, I'm actually kind of hyped about things to come. Um, which I've been pretty neutral to bad about things um, for the past probably two or three weeks. So, like, having this excitement is refreshing again, you know? And that's the thing, is um, something my mom has always said to me, and I'm almost positive she didn't make it up, but, you know, props to uh, um, her for ingraining it in my brain, but, like, things are always going to get worse before it gets better. That's what she's always said to me, and then another adage I always hear about is, like, life is a bunch of hills and valleys. You know, things go down, but then they're going to go up again. Um, and those two sentiments have really what what's kept me going on YouTube, and I think in life in general, you know, you're always going to have those bad points, but next thing you know, something awesome is going to come, and you're going to be feeling great again, so, um, you know, and when you get into those great moments, don't take them for granted, you know, grasp them, really fully delve yourself into them, and enjoy them while they last, and then for those sad moments, always have the hope and remembrance of a great moment um, and even so there there's something humbling about having the sad hard tough times as well because it it makes you realize who you are and things like that so that's good okay enough of daily bickering today about old man stuff uh, the droids have made it down to this middle platform finally um, they kind of just skirt it around uh, the rest of these defenses here instead of taking them on from the top. Probably the best thing they could do, honestly. And then, oh, they grenaded that guy out. That was that was the pro strat right there. Way to go, Grievous. Especially, they sort of adapted. Improvise, adapt, overcome. They learned that, hey, four of our dudes have been shot by this one trooper. 
Do we keep suiciding? No! We grenade! So, brilliant move. <laughs> Outstanding move. Um, meanwhile, these guys are, are actually taking on these clones from a pretty advantageous position. For one, they've got the high ground, which as Kenobi has taught us is, uh, muy bene. Um, not to mention they've got this little chunk of cover there too, so that's a, that's a great position there. Um, seems like they're getting distracted by something over here. Oh yeah, there's a clone over here. That might be distracting them. There's also Lord Gonk. I mean, that's a pretty good distraction too. Um, and then, uh, there are these clones in here, but I don't think that would distract them. They're too far away. So really, I think it's just that one clone on the, the platform over here, and Lord Gonk's overwhelming presence, of course, too. Not overwhelming, perfectly whelming. I mean, he's, uh, just the perfect, you know? <laughs> um, so that's probably what's causing that. So let's actually check and see. The droids don't have that many troopers left. First of all, Grievous is way, way back here. Um, he is completely out of ammo, too. Here, Grievous, you want to... Here, search this body. Take some ammo. There you go, buddy. Um, we'll just do that for him. So he's way, way up here. Um, he's got no kills. Nice. Nice job, Grievous. Um, then there's like six troopers here, probably another six here, and then one on this platform here. Um, and they're facing a defense, probably about 30 or so clones. Maybe even 40. So... I think the clones are finally going to get another dub under their belt because the last few um, Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy of War mod videos we've done, the clones have failed to really um, achieve a victory, I'm pretty sure. I think the droids have been on a pretty good streak as of late. Um, so, uh, you know, if they do manage to to catch this victory there's always the off chance that they just totally drop the ball and that has happened in the past but um if they do then yeah way to go clones you finally rebounded where it counts on the home planet of camino um the cloning facility is this the only cloning facility in star wars i've always kind of wondered that like um is there more than just this one because it seems really foolhardy to put all your eggs in one basket or all your <laughs> cloning facilities on one planet. Like, wouldn't you want to have, like, 10 or 20 large-scale cloning facilities over multiple planets or whatever? Or maybe their contract with the Kaminoans specifically say to, like, a uh, non-compete clause or something like that. Like, um, you know, they weren't a allowed to go to any other place. It was a monopoly held by the Kaminoans or something along those lines. It's entirely possible that too, but it just seems foolhardy because, you know, in the TV series, if Grievous and Asajj Ventress had fully destroyed, or even, you know, they were trying to steal the cloning stuff, but say they had destroyed the planet, then that's it. Clones are done. They can't make more, <laughs> you know? So that'd be kind of curious. Grievous runs off after taking some shots. Did he get a kill there? He did, he got one. Atta boy, Grievous. Here, have an atta boy. There you go. There you go. Um, these guys are still tangoing with that one clone, but I think I just heard him die, and yes, I did. Now they seem to be fighting with these clones on the main platform over here, aka Captain Rex and Commander Cody. Cody's over here reloading a little bit, and they've been just getting some good fire out. They've just got a brick wall of fire over here, which is good for them. And these um, large sort of crates are also helping out a lot, I think, because it's making these, you know, barriers that, that just support them so much. It gives them so much cover. So, like, these these things are, are pro as heck right now, especially when you're on a platform that is just completely open and the droids are literally attacking from the highest points on the map. So having these crates is, is key in this instance. Um, so it's good to see that those are, are working their magic for the clones here. Beautiful. All right, droid army is really, really dying down right now. Oh, Grievous comes back up here for some more. Let's see if he gets any kills here. Let's watch and observe. He's obviously not the greatest sniper. Oh, there you go. He just decked someone right there. Holy cow. Nice one. I take it back, Grievous. I am sorry, man. You're quite clearly a champion of your craft. He, like, pops up, takes a shot, goes back down. It's not a bad strategy. I mean, it's... Oh, that was quick. That was quick to the draw, man. <laughs> He's just gonna die eventually, though. The clones hit him, like, every time. Of course, he does have more health than your standard trooper, because he's General Grievous, but... Yeah, this is... Oh, he got another kill! That was a dome shot, too. 
He's got five kills actually now. Wait, did he just get another? No, he didn't. Okay, five kills. Five. Grievous is about to destroy the entire. He just got another. Bruh. He's got six now. He's about to just win this. Bro, but he's not stopping the heal, which is just stupid. Oh, we'll stand. Oh, there we go. Now he's healing. Now the clones are in trouble. <laughs> Their main enemy is now regenerating back to 100 health. It's like when you're at the final boss and then you learn he's got a second form. That's the stuff that just devastates you as a kid. Look at him. He's got a bead on him. Oh, he's going down now. He's actually in such a good sniper post. I don't know why you'd move down from there, but um, he is. So is the rest of his men. This could be the final confrontation here. See if the clones can uh, clutch this. There you go. Here comes the fire. Grievous gets behind another barrel. He's going to try and employ the same tactics, but I think he's struggling a bit more. Oh, also the guys from back here in this military base, we can see they're firing too. Grievous backs up to a crate here. He's unconfident. Inconfident? Unconfident? I'm not sure what the word is, but he is not confident. That's for sure. Four troopers up here. Back in this position. Trying to get some kills. One goes down right there. Sorry about the shoddy camera work. It's Like I said before, it's kind of a tough map. It's a toughie. It is a toughie. Take a sip of my water. Be sure to be a hydro homie, guys. Water is so good for you. It is so important. I cannot stress that enough. I truly cannot. It's delicious. It is nutritious. And it is gosh darn fun to drink. Downright fun. Okay, four troopers left. Four General Grievous' crew here. One coming up over here gets shot down basically instantly. Um, Grievous is like in this little thing here. So we can't see him. I hate that those objects are like not objects. They're basically non-objects, yeah. Like they're, they just don't have like hitboxes. Like they don't register so the people are able to sort of like go inside them which is stupid because obviously that's a broken mechanic but you know i don't think we're gonna see that fixed ever <laughs> it's a bummer but oh well you know all right let's see he's got yeah he's still got six kills he's at about half health right now so he's not doing too hot and he's still taking more hits he needs to stop and heal at some point god i hate the camera work on this he's like he's nervous he doesn't know what to do it's a 2v, like, 20. Grievous versus the world. He takes another stop to heal. Bruh. Just end your misery, man. Just go out like a fighting champ. Come on, bro. Don't be a wussy. Oh, there we go. He's moving. He's moving. Here we go. He's going back up here. Well, this jabroni's going this way. Oh, he's going for the military base. Hot dang. Grievous, come back. No, you're not allowed to run from this, Grievous. Oh, he does have seven kills now, which is kind of cool. All right, we're sending Grievous to the military base. And so is this guy over here, too. So He'll have a company. Um, so we got four troopers there, and then another four over here. So we got eight troopers defending this area. No, wait, there's another there. So we got nine troopers defending this area. It's pretty good. One goes down real quick there to Grievous' sniper rifle, but Grievous gets distracted by these clones back here once again. He gets another kill right there. Grievous is tearing apart these clones, man. Hot dang. Hot diggity dang. But look, Grievous is going back over this way. He's, he's tangoing with these guys. He doesn't have any cover, but he doesn't care. He's firing. He gets another kill. He gets another. He pushes forward a little bit. Oh, he's getting hit. He's getting hit. Grievous. Grievous. Do something. Bruh. He's not doing anything. He can't figure it out. What's he going to do? He falls back a little bit. Does he have any health packs left? No, he doesn't. And he's at like one health. He does have 11 kills, which is pretty impressive. Does have 11 kills. That's mad, actually. That's whack. That's wicked, bruh. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do? He is stuck. He does not know what to do. Oh, he's like clutching his chest in pain. Oh, <laughs> the pain. Oh, his friend is like, listen, boss, I got this. Oh, he's going full Rambo. Grievous is back on track here. Did he just kill that guy? No, that clone's still alive. No, and the clone kills him. 
All right, should we run Grievous away? No, Grievous is going for it on his own accord there. He takes a shot, misses. He's taking a few shots. He's going after Arc Trooper 5's an Echo directly right now. Let's see. Oh, he's running. He's back behind here again. I hate this map for uh, camera position. It's a cool map, but like camera-wise, it's it's tough. It's toughy. All right, Grievous, do you want to... Let's, uh, let's retreat, Grievous. He's literally the only droid left on the map. Half droid. <laughs> so we're just going to retreat him back. Um, he gets to live another day. And as we know, Grievous always runs, so it's not out of character for him. Um, so yeah, a pretty fun episode of the Clone Wars Recreated series, I'd say. Probably one of my favorite battles. Um, lately, I've been skipping around. Oh god, Grievous is getting shot at again. Oh, I think he made it away. Um... Uh, I've been doing, I've been skipping around and doing different battles and stuff like that as of late, um, and not going in chronological order, and I, I think I'm finding that more fun to be like, hmm, I'm kind of feeling like this today, so we'll do this, um, instead of sticking by the book, so I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on, um, but you know, still have the intro, still try and be as accurate as possible, even though this one wasn't very accurate, um, but you know, game restrictions and all that, so, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited, so, um, we can look at the deaths here. Uh, yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids, and the clones did not come out of this unscathed. There are heaps of dead clones all over the place, man. They they took losses on every platform. They took a lot of, lot of damage. Um, let's see. Cody has one kill and Rex has none. Pretty sad. Um, Echo has none and Fives has none. That's sad. And then all of uh, Rancor Battalion is dead, so we don't know how many kills they ended up getting. Lord Gonk, still dancing right here pretty sick and the droid army is in ruins with uh uh grievous over here clutching his belly <laughs> and he has 11 kills which is ultimately very impressive so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed comment and subscribe if you did i'll see you all in the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much